Buenos días, muchas gracias, José Manuel. Good morning, thank you very much, José Manuel, and thank you everybody for being here, as you said before. I will continue to make an effort to be brief because I know that in all these conferences the, what's important is what comes afterwards. So, um, but it's true that we cannot forget some, some, some comments you know, as we have the opportunity. I would like to uh, say hello from the part of the Council of Agriculture, Fishing and Rural Development of the regional, of the, um, regional government. He was uh, going to be here with us today, you know, because talking about water in Andalusia, and especially in Almeria, is so important that, you know, that the councillor always wants to be here, reinforcing with his presence and, and supporting any activity in the sector. But today he was in Strasbourg and sharing with other European regions, um, you know, this debate of um, minimum requirements for the new programming framework for the common agricultural policy. So they're probably uh, working and talking about water as well there because nobody ignores, and we talked about that very recently by the Commission President because of the International Day of uh, on Water. <coughs> and in this meeting we debated on, you know, it was an informal meeting that we had last year with the agricultural ministry, minister in Malta, the importance of water, the production of food in the context of climate change is uh, so significant not only for South Europe countries but for all European countries and in this case irrigation is key. So uh, for me in particular it is very important to be here and I feel um, especially satisfied. So I wanted to give this uh, message on, on behalf of the councillor who couldn't be here today. I wanted to say um, hello to the members of the 23 working teams that came uh, with Fertinova. They've, they've been working in the last few years to, uh, to share their knowledge. And from 10 countries, if I'm not wrong, uh, 10 countries are here today. I know that this final conference is the, the end of all that work. Today, after two days of, uh, of work in, in the teams, and you know, they've told me that they were quite fruitful, I just hope your stay here continues to be pleasant here in Almeria. And I wanted to thank you for the effort that you have made in relation to this topic, not only in these few days, but throughout the whole, the last um, whole year. I know this is going to have a great significance because that shared knowledge in the formulation of a very participative project which integrates the uh, uh, involvement on the point of view of the final uses of water, farmers, also, it deals with the environmental approach and the need to harmonize legislations that regulate water management. So that multi-actors um, approach is quite enriching and it will allow us to, to have this, um, to have this effort driven into the importance of uh, irrigation agriculture in Europe, Andalusia and Almeria in particular. I wanted to welcome all the participants and I will especially mention my colleagues in, at the University of Almeria and Cajamar who together with our colleagues from IFAPA they have been working in the part of, uh, on behalf of Andalusia, the rest of the groups visit us as well and I wanted also to, to welcome you here. I don't want to uh, repeat some of the figures, Jose Manuel already mentioned them uh, when he was explaining why water and irrigation is uh, so valuable strategically for Andalusia and in, uh, more precisely to Almeria. But I think it is interesting to remember uh, some of those figures. Water and irrigation in Andalusia mean employment in the rural um, sector and that means fighting against the depopulation of the rural 
area and that is important for a territory which is so varied as uh, Andalusia is. Thanks to the policies developed in the latest support uh, frameworks, legal frameworks with several measures, is one of the regions where this um, depopulation, if we compare it with other areas, has had uh, the lowest impact. And with irrigation agriculture, we find one of the keys for that. From the million, uh, hundred thousand hectares and that um, he mentioned in Andalusia, one third of the useful surface, if we exclude permanent pastures, from this, 200,000 devoted to the um, to fruit and vegetable crops, that would be one third, and that generates nearly two thirds, 64 percent of the total value of uh, agricultural production. I want to remind you that Andalusia means the fourth part of this agricultural production of the whole of Spain, and 63 percent of employment in the rural sector in Andalusia. That is a very significant figures to explain why this has this strategic value. So that's why for the government of Andalusia the support to the modernization of uh, irrigation to get a more efficient and sustainable use of resources is in a strategic priority and it's been so for many years. This investment, um, cited by Jose Manuel, and which in the last couple of decades have uh, taken up nearly 2 million euros in Andalusia, and which have allowed the modernization of more than 500,000 hectares, this has a very um, singular value because the, it has allowed for a competitive agriculture, but making the use of uh, water more efficient also nutrition associated to um, this water. Well, this support policies for investment for the government is a priority, but also support to research and the development of uh, knowledge and the training of uh, irrigators. And this is something we do through IFAPA, the institute that I preside and through some initiatives <coughs> taken by the Rural Development Program of Andalusia, like for example the support to public-private consortiums for innovation, for them to develop uh, solutions or proposal, innovative proposals, like for example operational groups, um, you know, which is one of the measures of the current uh, programming framework where there are several projects. As I said, if the sector is strategic for the Andalusian government, it is so as well as a tool that the uh, government has for the transfer of knowledge and information. In the last six years, 60 research and transfer projects have been developed from IFAPA and out of those, a significant part, something like 25, have been done in cooperation with other private institutions. Providers of technology, technology for the management and control, irrigation control, or final water users, which improves uh, these transfer processes for knowledge and the um, incorporation to productive processes uh, by the final um, the, by, by the final users and also there was a great effort for uh, infant training specific training that ifapa has offered addressed exclusively to uh, the training for irrigators that's um, been more than 20, 250 activities and more than 100,000 uh, people attending uh, apart from that in IFAPA, we have an, an information uh, station network and a system for information to irrigators that permanently facilitates the rational use and sustainable use of water for irrigation. I wouldn't want to, you know, bore you 
but if I'm here in Almeria I do have to make some comments that refer to protected agriculture, greenhouse agriculture and the use of water. I've said sometimes and I want to highlight it, greenhouse agriculture is a very powerful tool to continue producing more with less and that's one of the requirements and one of the challenges that we face in, in the coming years. And that is so because mainly uh, when it comes to, to climate or semi-arid climates like ours, it is a, a system for saving water. I don't have to explain you that, you know, because you know about it quite well already. If you can find the space where the crops are, there is a greater efficiency of the use of water and it is um, a water use system which is very um, efficient as I said. Irrigation associated to protected crops is only 0.2% of the useful agricultural service and it gives more than 10% of the whole value of the agricultural production. That is uh, something that we should also highlight. And regarding environment, that greater efficiency and uh, productivity is much higher than open air uh, agriculture, and it has a very positive environmental impact because uh, you know, the restoration of more uh, land or soil is uh, necessary for the same amount of food. So that is why I think it is a very powerful tool especially uh, regarding the use of water. And I would like to finish reminding you of some of the efforts that in this province in Almeria uh, by the administration and nurses have been made to overcome the scarcity of uh, hydric resources and also <coughs> to make sustainable their use and these efforts being extraordinary in some aspects. The rationalization of the use of natural resources, the effort to increase availability from non-conventional resources incorporating desalinized uh, water and urban regenerated urban water, reused water, making an uh, important economic effort to implement connection infrastructures for irrigation and limit to the minimum the loss in uh, distribution systems and the effort by all institutions that generate knowledge to include knowledge and technology which actually has a positive effect in the more efficient use of water. This effort will have to be maintained in the future so that the challenges we have to face will be so that we can reach them successfully. To conclude, I know this is uh, many days of work. Those of you who come from abroad, it's not only the three days you, you know, you arrived here uh, a few days before, and I am absolutely convinced I couldn't talk in depth uh, to her, but I've had a look at some of the works here and what you call the vivel fertilization, this compendium of uh, 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 fertilization in, 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 in our translation, fertigation. I wanted to thank you for the effort you've made to, to, you know, to put at the disposal of researchers and uh, technology industry all the knowledge that you're sharing and you've been sharing in the last few years. I'm sure that with this uh, project model, it will be continued in the future, probably with the same partners, or and maybe new partners, but I would like to congratulate you, uh, everybody who's part of the team, and those here that are taking part in this to know about the results and part of the work. So thank you for being here. I hope the best for you, and hopefully you will end up your stay here very positively and now we're going to finish so that you can start with what's really important. Thank you.